Welcome viewers to Expand One TV. Here is name links. Uh, what we do is explaining the full impact of names, okay, and how names affect our daily life day by day. Today, I just want to explain some very important aspect of our life, especially pertaining to health. So, if you're the first time watching us, please subscribe share and then follow our page so that when we post any video you can be the first person to watch so in any day can you share your yesterday subscribe now share now my own so into me and share my name is johnny and today i want us to delve a little bit into some health issues okay because i uh, i just came across some videos and live programs people were streaming on social media and i just feel like I have to remind people that health is one thing that can make our life very miserable. But what I want to ask is, is there a way, is there a remedy? I mean, these are the things I want us to discuss. We are not going to talk much. We have spoken a lot about names and how each and every name creates a certain health complications for us. Maybe you've not watched our videos, some of the videos that explain some of these ailments that we have. But then, what I want to explain today is something that bothers a lot of people. And one funny thing about this kind of sickness I want to explain, uh, which is the kidney problem or kidney infection, is most people doesn't even know whether they are going to inherit or get this kind of sickness that is why i want to give some brief explanations of this sickness and the names that can create this thing this life that we live is not so strange nothing happens out of blue moon no so if people feel that oh we live in a world whereby you cannot foretell the future that is a blunted lie that is not true that is the worst of ignorance people once you are happy with you know acquiring knowledge if you really want to learn if you want to explore if you want to understand the whys if the whys in life is explained to you you realize that nothing on this earth happens for a reason you have not become a, a, a victim of circumstance no God doesn't hate you that you just strike one with a certain ailment that will take all the money you've worked for in your entire life. That you have to spend more money in dialysis, have to spend more money every week in the hospitals and paying bills and all your life. I mean, just for two, three, four, five years before a man dies, just have to waste a lot of their hard earned resources, which you could have put in more effort to curb those things when you were even told. People hate to be advised. People doesn't take directions because of some various factors, because of the environment they were trained, because of some religious beliefs, because of some kind of traditional beliefs, or because of some strange, you know, understandings of some teachings they have acquired somewhere. But as I always explain, truth in life is, a, is part of the universal language. Wherever there is truth, it has no barrier. Sicknesses and human nature, human life, whatever, has no barrier. So we cannot say that I come from this religious background, I believe in this, so this sickness cannot attack me. No. Take seriously what I'm going to explain today because we live in a world where everything is possible. And as I always say, you are in 100% control or in charge of your life yes so i will just take a few break three seconds break when i return i'm going to explain just this sickness kidney infections kidney problems and then people seeking dialysis the cause of it and what you can do to prevent this sickness
me die kesi aya to the name len na moti hwefoni eti fo wi ase nyina sa bibi e fa edin ho aho adwuma titire ana ye ye ni ato ni din name len bibi e fa din die ne din ye din kran fa so be na wo so ade ne wi ase nyina ya ntwe wi ase nyina din ba ko ana ye bibi fo ye nya din ba ko na blo fo nya din ba ko e che se edin wo tume at the moment edin ba be da oso no ana be chere de wo ye e ye free se obetu ma fre wo hwehwem e wo name len so bibi e len ki wudin bia unti bibi ase afre se bibi chire wa dwere abrabo na wale sikasam anyo ma asai men we still time kra fre name len si gma ku kese ye no bibi e fe din bia ho no ye mu a o ye dwuma sam e ya wale sam anyo ma atofom this your time men we still time kra fre na ye mu a o ni en chire ade ku di en chire wo din no ade ku di en tia adwuma na ade ku di en tia wale sam aye basa ade en tia basa enya bibi a fanshe o bibi ara e wo din na busa ni en chire wo din na se ne hu se ni wo din e ye wo ni se ni wo din e de wo ko se ni wo din e se wa bra fo fro nan fro unu anu se mo mra name link so mo som fo roxin anye mo ntra se mo ba be hwe ne mo tie na mo hye ama wi ase nyina mo se ni name link se ne pa ye wo ama wi ase nyina ya go hwe mra ye se bre kra ye go hwe mra alright so uh, if you are watching us or if this is your first time watching us i will please ask you to subscribe to name links at fan one tv because here we give you the right education we explain the deep things the details something that you wouldn't even get it anywhere because your life your health your happiness is our priority is our concern we want you to understand what constitutes certain ailments and sicknesses we we are spiritual philosophers here so we explain things in a different angle your doctor or i mean your your healthcare practitioner who takes care of you goes with a scientific discovery but everything happens invisible before it it comes or it appears visible so i've always been saying in my videos that the spirit controls the physical spiritual controls the physical so any sicknesses any ailments any deformation anything that happens to human beings has happened in the spirit before appearing uh, in the physical okay i've been hearing a lot of news about uh, kidney people i mean how look if you really want to live without this sickness you can the reason why i'm talking about this thing is that uh, this morning I was just watching someone's, you know, live on a certain program, which I don't want to mention where I saw it. And uh, the lady was on dialysis. So she was saying that you, in this life, you cannot begin of what will happen to you in life. I disagree with that comment. In the sense that as we are living for instance if you happen to be watching us right now and you don't take whatever we say here seriously you have written your own codes of sickness you've already signed your warrant of the sickness you want to incur because we will definitely tell you that this in names contain this kind of sicknesses ailment these problems and you ignore it because maybe your pastor have not told you your doctor haven't told you someone you trusted or believe in having said we are just saying it and you might presume we don't even know what we are saying that is fine but when the sickness comes when you are you are struck with that same thing we told you about it might be too late for you to pick that correction we are telling you all right when we say names every name have a certain you know ailment attached to it do you believe it or not you must believe and this is not just a belief without cause you must also try to find out the truth in whatever we are saying that is the reason why in most of our videos we give names we explain the names that can incur this thing now most people that are on dialysis that they are i mean frequenting hospital twice a week what are they doing over there they are struggling to survive is this what you want your life to be 
Is this what you wish for? This what you 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 you, you someone said we don't bargain for what we expect in life. You cannot bargain because you don't know the seller. How can you bargain? You are not even aware of the person selling the sickness to you. So who am I going to bargain for? And even if we tell you, you still don't accept it. So you, you just open your arms ready for whatever that comes in. And sometimes what pains me is the manner of wastage of your personal resources. And to those that doesn't even have the money, they are the most miserable people. Because you cannot even afford to pay for the, the dialysis and it's not also for free. And a lot of people also want that assistance to survive. Who told you life is not sweet? Who told you living a healthy life isn't something you have to work hard for? Good health is not automatic. God has not been sharing good health and making people I mean, sick. So you have to work for it. In working for it, you require knowledge true knowledge to get to the source of why sicknesses come and in this sense your doctor science is not the solution yes they only help you manage the situation which is very good they have been giving injection and these machines that you, you are applying for this dialysis they are things all manufactured by the scientists, the people that are trying to save you. But people are only seeking for, I mean, trying to look for the solution without the cause. If you don't get the cause and you are solving the problem, you are doing nothing. But at the same time, you know, the solution just you know, releases you from temporal pains. In the first place, uh, I want to ask, what is even dialysis? Maybe you have been going to a hospital, you hear about dialysis, you talk about people say with kidney problems. <laughs> kidney problem is one of the major, major sicknesses you can avoid. Go back on our videos, watch the names that we explain. Remember, we, we, we've made a video explaining some names like Diana, Desmond, Sarah, Aisha, Amina, Anima, okay, Shadra, Catherine, Nadia, Aban, Melody. Watch those names. I think uh, you will see that video even on my right hand side here. Just a glimpse of this video. Go back to our videos and watch it. We've explained the signals attached to these names. And it's not only these names. Most names have these things attached. Before I will explain this part, I want to just explain this, what is dialysis? What exactly is dialysis? I can say uh, dialysis is a kidney replacement therapy. So maybe something like uh, KRT, like kidney replacement therapy. So it's a system. What I what, uh, I want to say about this part is if you are struggling with a sickness you don't even how it is defined you don't even know what it entails that is the reason why we are here okay so dialysis is a life-saving medical procedure that helps remove waste products and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys are no longer functioning properly. Healthy kidneys act as a natural filter, removing waste products and extra fluid from the blood and excreting them in urine. When kidneys fail, dialysis takes over this essential function. So this is dialysis. So this dialysis that we work on is a kind of a work that your kidney has to do but the kidney has failed but if you check from the definition that I quoted here it's saying that it has removed some waste products and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys are no longer functioning properly and this services is very expensive here in Ghana one time I was watching a radio station when the president for the dialysis patients 
kidney patient association was talking and i was saying damn what is it the president i mean the the, the leader does that mean that this man is oh, 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 i mean having all the two kidneys being 40 or what and how long is the, is, the, is the leader of the kidney patients president how long is he going to live and what what experience does he have in kidney problem that he's leading people does it mean that he has been the long surviving kidney patients and is this i mean look this life that we live is full of ups and downs but the most miserable part the, the the most miserable of all these ups and downs is that it, you, it it's avoidable yes when i was watching the video today this uh, this morning about what the woman was complaining he said she spends 600 cities 650 cities on dialysis every monday and friday and after that an injection of 250 cities will be injected into her so in all she is spending something around 850 or 900 Ghana cities every week on just one section so compare the two that's about 1800 cities every week something over hundred dollars every week meanwhile this over hundred dollars money could have you could have used it to avoid everything that you will not be going through this. Why would the kidney fail? What, what constitutes kidney failure? It is from a name. Because that is the right genesis of where the sicknesses have its you know, energy from. So when a name is in this court, it's, in, it's not in harmony with your system. Your body fights back. And if you look at most of the names that we have explained here, we told you that if a name is not in tune with your system, it's not in harmony with you, then the name begins to fight you. It's like uh, people that have certain kind of issues in them that fight their system back. And with name, it takes time, it takes years for this kind of energy or this system to build and to weaken this organ. So if you realize that the video that I we just shown on the screen, I was explaining that this, all these names, these people suffer from anemia. They have issues with their blood and their fluid functions. So if you have checked your name for you before, if, or if you are someone that have watched our videos and the names you've always seen me talking about having blood issues, being anemic, being, uh, having kidney problems, take it seriously. Because one day when they strike you, if it doesn't kill you, then you are going to be a dialysis patient. And you'll be needing the assistance of a, ma a dialysis machine to survive. And at that time, no one can guarantee your safety, your death, or your happiness anymore. Unless you have the money. And even if you have the money, they are still having challenges here, especially we in Ghana here, because our light issues are not even stable. The patients are more than the dialysis machines. So they are being scheduled day and day at what and before you realize if you cannot even pay then that is another game altogether. Alright, so why must we sit down? Allow something that we can really do away with. Look, if you even pay just hundred dollars for us to change the name for you and your health status change forever, isn't that one more i mean healthier than you believing in things you some people sometimes talk as if we don't even know god you believing in god and then one day these sicknesses will strike you people have been so i mean you can see how pathetic some people have been before they are dead all because they were supposed to acquire some heavy sum of money for a kidney transplant or for some managing the kidney thing, they, are, they were short of funds and they are gone. Why must man try, struggle to survive? The moment you feel the need to struggle to survive means you have to take this life seriously. Why the sickness haven't attacked you? Once you are free from kidney problem, please, 
Do whatever you can to make sure that you have enough knowledge about it. And the kind of knowledge that can prevent you from this sickness, this ailment, or the kidney failure issue, it doesn't come from your education. That is why most people are getting it wrong. It doesn't come from your, the knowledge you have in medicine. No. This is spiritual. And it is in the form of spiritual in the point that it is not your relative or somebody who have the spirit powers to manipulate you. It originates from the name you have. The influence of the name you have have a spiritual back and that destroys certain parts of their body. That is why all the names we explain here, we do want to review some kind of energies that affect certain portions of the body. So if you watch us or you listen to us, you realize that whatever we say here are deep things. And we, it only requires deep-minded, deep thinkers to understand. If you have a name, like maybe Foster, and we will explain to you, we will tell you that no, Foster or Desmond or Adams, Diana and or Catherine, Amina, Aisha, Nadia, and all these names like we have been explaining, like Melody, can give you kidney problem, and you don't understand. You only have to contact us, ask questions, please. The access why my why you do say this name creates this because if you agree with me or if you know any one of these names that I just I've just mentioned ask them if you, they don't experience I mean dizziness or uh, symptoms of anemic it's hundred percent correct with them yes it's something I will not even give ninety percent if you have any of them. And we've made a full video on those names. That is why I don't even want to waste more energy and explain them. But apart from that, there's a lot of names we have also explained that also have this, can also create these same sicknesses. We have explained names like Beatrice, Emilia, Helena, I mean, Benedicta, and I mean, uh, Rosalind, a lot of names, Ampau, and all those that also can also have kidney problem thousands of names please take whatever we are saying seriously if you don't understand anything if our, our words or maybe our teachings is so clumsy for you that you you feel you don't have to believe it ask questions first before you discard whatever we are saying here because we are here just only to help mankind yes and when you change the name it have a deep impact on your health a lot about your health will begin to change and you might not even become a, a, a prospective uh, dialysis patient. No. You, you can avoid it. So that's what I want to do. Now, there's a lot of injections that doctors do you know, give to this dialysis patient because they want to support them one way or the other. Number one, the kidney is not functioning well, so you need artificial you know, stuff. Some injections to you know keep the bone marrow intact, maintain the calcium level so that you will not be anemic, you will not feel dizziness, it can maintain your body. And then this machine trying to you know purify your system, doing the work the kidney has to do. That is why you must attend to your dialysis place twice in a week. And it's a lot of money because even if 1,800 per week, multiply this money in four by four which means four times in a month so if you work so hard and at the end of the day you have to give all this money to hospitals and doctors and they too are also using systems to work they have machines they have things they are they are also paid so sometimes i always tell you that look <laughs> no 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 one is for you God for all of us, each one for him or herself. You are sole responsibility of your life. If you do not manage it well, then you will seek an assistance of a doctor or somebody else to help you manage it well. And do you think that you and the doctor, who can help you manage your life well? When we say some food are not good for you, stop eating them. When you say alcohol is not good, stop. When we say smoking isn't good even for smoking it has been written boldly on it they have specifically 
tell you that if you smoke, you will have these sicknesses. People will just ignore it and still go and smoke. So I know that in this world, if you put the truth here and put the lie here, we have people that will boldly go in for the lies. That is why our work is not to try to please or save everybody. But at least we try to tell the truth out. Because that kind of sicknesses of the dialysis is a painful ordeal for someone to pass through before you, you, you get out of this earth. You swell, you have easiness. I mean, you will see death standing before you, but it doesn't, it doesn't take you because it has to know, put you through that pain. Okay, so when the Bible says, what a man sow, so shall they reap. How do we understand this? Though not giving much reverence to Bible in my own way, it's, it's, a, it's a book that contains some stuff that sometimes we need to ponder about them because it's a book written by men, written by doctors, scientists, philosophers, spiritual people, and the normal people. So most of them have knowledge into things. And this thing in this Bible is a deep truth coined into a spiritual way like what a man so, so shall they reap. Whatever you are facing today is as a result of your own making. But the deep side is that you don't even know whether you were the architect of it or not. That is what makes the whole thing painful because if you are the cause of your misery and you don't even know, how can you even understand when we are telling you that you are the cause of your own misery and you, still, you might not even believe it? Because if you sow unknowingly, <laughs> you will still reap it. That is it. Yeah, what do you know? And in the future, it's whether you are aware or not. You still sow it. So please, uh, henceforth we will be revealing some of this sickness. Oh no, I think we have to repeat the sicknesses to you people. Know that this sickness is avoidable. In fact, sicknesses for mankind is avoidable if man is to follow the natural laws properly. But then if we don't, then we should be ready to get the desert out of our own action. And kidney problems is one of the most problematic and some sickness that can take your happiness away from you for life. It will definitely kill you, but on a slow pace so if you are watching us you have any name if you've watched our videos and we've explained that there's a kidney problem attached to this you mark it down begin to look for people with those names and then check if what we are saying is a lie today we just want to explain the, the how dialysis has become a major problem and more people are developing this uh, kidney problems and they don't even know where it comes from because our system has been poisoned. The food you eat, the drinks you take, the lifestyle you live and the kind of thing you, you enjoy so much is what is taking your life in a gradual way. So when it shows in the physical realm, it becomes something you have to manage it with a lot of money. And if you don't have it, you just go. You die off. Please and uh, please, let's continue to seek for the truth, the better way to manage sickness. We are not saying everybody will, because what I have explained in my videos that if sickness is to go, what will be the work of doctors? So this life has been designed in a way that people must listen, some will not. But I'm just telling you that kidney disease, every sickness originates from the names you have. Contact us today. Let's show you what your names entails. That's giving you an information of 10, 20 years ahead of you. If I'm telling you and you feel you have to discard this, that's your own you know, decision. You can do that. But we let's tell you the revelation about your life. It's already with you. Okay.
And I think if we understand this thing, we will be able to avoid a whole lot of things that we are going through today. So I want to quote uh, one big philosopher which we, we've all known or heard of his name, like uh, Plato. Okay, Plato once said that we can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of their lights. This quote was said by Plato. So we can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. When the child, you know, is walking in the dark and is crying, is afraid, we can forget or forgive the child. But the real tragedy here now we're talking about is when man is afraid of the light. When man or when men are afraid of the light, in the sense that when you are telling the truth to a man, they ignore it. They say, no, we can't do this. Change your name and this thing will go. Why can I change my name? This thing is so deep. How can I mean my name I've used for all my documents? When you die, are you going with your certificates and your documents? Are you going with your American visa and passport? Are you going with your bunch of monies, your bank balances? Are you going with it? But so there's something you can do that can maintain that money for you to enjoy to a certain level that you will be satisfied to die. That's, a little, that's what we are just telling you. Something small, we are just telling you that. Look, take this pattern. In Ghana here, the law allows each and everyone to make a name change. To change your name, the law allows it. But what did of late some people are taking into their hands is that the officers that have to put your name of change, the, the, the change of name in use, in force, on your various documents, will use their own discretion to deny you. That's another thing I don't understand, which I've been talking about it, and I think we will have to seek for legal redress to these issues. Because if someone takes the bold step to make a name change, and you, the officer in charge, that you have to just abide by what the rule of law, what the law have stated for the person. The person have a sworn affidavit to it with a gazette. I've changed my name by the law. So effect it on my documents for me. Why did you change your name? Then you just ask, I disagree with you. It's not convincing. So are you trying to tell me that what the law, what the court have ordered the man to do, you are going against it. And very soon we will start prosecuting you, some of these personnel that are using your right in a, a, in wrong manner. Deny people of what the law have allowed them to do. So if you happen to change your name for you to be healthy, and you feel you can't, then be ready for the next dance because your song is so in the studio preparing and when you start playing you will dance to it life is that simple so we reap what we have soon so when someone says uh, you cannot bargain of what you get in life it's absolute ignorance it's a statement of ignorance you have really bargained for it and you are enjoying it you could have avoided it when you hear something about it. Most people who watch our videos and they see it as we speaking to words that are of not, I mean, something that they don't have to listen to us. So I will just end here and then urge you to please take whatever we say here seriously. Yes, because whatever we said here we will realize, come to realization when it happens to you. It's avoidable today, but the moment is declared you no know, useless. That organ of kidney or the heart or whatever organ the body is declared you no know, this is not easy to repair. You just have to lie down patiently and wait for your death. Consume all the money you would have left for your children to use to better their life and give you good name, even if you are not there. Someone will tell me, I don't care, even if I die and you don't praise me, I don't mind. But that shouldn't be the mindset of, I mean, someone that has family. Thank you very much for watching. Expect more videos from us as we'll be explaining more of these things to you. Share, subscribe, 
put your comments there and then we'll be giving you more into how we can live a healthy life in our next video i think i'm going to explain some foods and other stuff that most of these people with kidney problem must avoid so subscribe and follow us thank you very much